So I'm gonna do an attempt at breaking that ruler with that piece of paper. So this is a pretty cool weather demonstration that you do with kids during your pressure unit. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I may have to do this a couple times, but we'll see how this is gonna go. So first off, it is definitely a low pressure day. We got about 82% humidity today. We've had some rain overnight, got some pretty good cloud cover here. So that may have a little bit of an impact in terms of what we're gonna do here, but this is actually quite cool. So let me just take my camera, let me put it into its holder so I can kind of free up some hands here. All right, let me show you what we're gonna do. So this is just kind of one of the cheap rulers from Target. Um, you know, it's, it's not broken at all. Okay, the only thing I'm gonna do to manipulate it is I'm just gonna remove the spine. So if you have a pair of pliers or a, or a uh, screwdriver, just get it, just pull that spine out because that, that'll, that'll have a little bit of an issue with it. So what I'm gonna do is put my screwdriver down, take the spine, toss that out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of take my ruler and to find the balance point, it's about right there. Obviously if I hit this ruler, if I hit the ruler, it's gonna go flying. So what I'm gonna attempt to do, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put my piece of paper over top of it. So if things work out perfect, what'll happen is when I hit the ruler, the piece of the ruler that's under the paper should push up against it. But what'll happen is, is that the air pressure and the air, the weight of the air will push down on the paper, causing that ruler to snap. So let's see if we can kind of get this done and we'll see if I get it done first shot. I tried it earlier today, I had to do it twice. We'll see how things go. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Okay, so that one did not crack at all. I'll see if I can do it one more time. But you clearly can see the indentation within the paper. So it did not work the first time. Let me see if I can get this done a second time. In class today, it actually took me twice to do it. But you clearly can see the indentation of the ruler against the paper. So there is some weight to the air pushing down. Try this one more time. Find that good balance point. Put that piece of paper on top. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three. Here we go. Look at that. So that ruler is still completely underneath, completely snapped it in half. So that ruler got completely snapped in half. This is just one of my diagrams I use for Coastal Continental. But you can see that the ruler fit perfectly in there. You see the indentation of the ruler? See a little bit better on the, on, the, on the white paper. Have the ruler there. So the air pushed down on top of the ruler as my force went down, that ruler went up, but the air pressure pushed down, ruler snapped in half. That's a pretty cool demo. That's a pretty good one, pretty uh, substantial to show the kids that the atmosphere has weight to it. There's mass to it. So pretty good one. It's gotta be one of the really cheap rulers from like Target, uh, just because you need to, it needs to be pine. It can't be like an oak ruler, you'll never snap it. So, but needless to say, it's a pretty good demo. So hopefully you can incorporate that in. And uh, like I said, it's a lot of fun to do in class. So hopefully you guys all had fun with this. Good luck with your rest of the year here and try to incorporate this into your weather unit. Until next time, everybody. Remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button.